Well, Golden Jaguars Captain Christopher Nurse bared his heart to the media in an interview that dealt with the contentious issue of outstanding money for players and his loss of confidence in the GFF executive. And a game with youth. So what's the point in developing the youth if when they get to the peak of their careers, they no longer want to play for Guyana? The hope of developing is youth so that when they get to the peak of their careers, Guyana can see the best of them. But it seems to be reoccurring that when players get to the peak, myself, JP Rodriguez, Walter Moore, Jackie Chan, Kanata Mannings, the list goes on of national team players who right now don't want to represent Guyana. He's convinced that the officials at the GFF do not understand fully what it means to have a team like the Golden Jaguars reach to the next level. In 2008, after the Digicel tournament in Trinidad, the team did the same thing. They went on strike because of the same issues, being skeptical and shady with money issues and not handling things properly. Four years later, in the same tournament, at the same stage, we find ourselves in the same position with the same administrators. Several present and former members of the Golden Jaguars have publicly called for the removal of the General Secretary and Vice President of the GFF to allow fresh thinking and ideas to chart the Federation on a different course. Numerous correspondents were sent saying, can we get things in place before the game? So that when players come into camp, they don't have cloudy matters over their head. There was numerous emails sent and there was no response from the GFF up until the point that before the night before the Mexico game, the players went on strike because they weren't included in the decision to move the game to, Mex to Houston for the Mexico game. They weren't aware of any kind of compensation they were getting for the game. They weren't aware of any reason why the game was moved initially. Now, there was a meeting the night before the game and they kind of gave us some reasons why the game was moved and why it wasn't played here in Guyana. But there was no agreement as to any kind of monies that the players would receive. So the players went on strike until an agreement was made and put on paper and signatures were put to it. There were signatures put to it by Frankie and that's the only signature that has ever been put on a document between the players and the administration. There's the captain is not ruling out meeting with officials of the GFF to come to what he calls an acceptable position. The GFF, in the meantime, over the weekend issued a statement distancing itself from some of the claims made by the players and expressed its disapproval over what they see as inaccurate information being given to the press. The press conference was called by Alpha President Odinga Lumumba, who said he believes nurses guarantee the freedom to express his views. You want to come down on a player, but here's something more fundamental. The head of the Football Federation has been accused by FIFA of taking a bribe, accused, I don't know, and they have pronounced and sentenced him according to their rules to 26 months because they found him guilty. I believe justice is a very important and fundamental right and has been given to us as human beings by the UN Charter and the Guyana Constitution and the World Civil Rights Organizations. I also believe if there's a labor dispute and people have been promised, they have a fundamental right to respond, regardless of the code of conduct. For Capital News, Raul Collins.